Hi guys, I'm back here with a new video. I just like to tell everybody my, um, well, growing up, I didn't watch a lot of shows. But the one thing I've always watched, out of all the constants, is my mom would watch this show called Macross Plus or Ghost in the Shell. The first, first show, first animated guy. Now... That was my first taste of anime. But later on, I would be influenced by a lot of them. One, especially one that came out in America not too long after. It came out in 92 in Japan, but came out here in 98, 97, 98, called Sailor Moon. Yeah, this is a pretty, it's a pretty good show. I liked it. I watched it. I watched every every episode, including the sub version of season five. I've got the dub version of season five now, and I have not even watched it yet. I'm just trying to, you know, hold out on watching it because that's the last part of my childhood that I kind of wondered what if the original voice actors would have voiced it, what they sound like voicing them now. How would they would how would they have done it? But really, as as the new millennium come in, they had new more new more anime and and uh, come out. Especially one of one of my old talk time favorites, Inuyasha. That was a great that was a great show. Hands down, one of the best I've ever watched. I watched them start to finish, and that show is awesome. I watched Naruto. I watched Naruto Shippuden. I watched Mobile Suit Gundam series they had out in the 2000s. Seed and Seed Destiny. Double O was a pretty good series. Don't get me wrong. Double O was good. None compared now. Now, I haven't watched them all, though. I need to start watching all the Mobile Suit Gundam series. But... Maybe somebody on here tell me, comment and tell me which one's their favorite and and maybe I'll watch it. No, I've watched plenty of good anime. But all in all, I've watched a plenty, plenty, man, plenty of them. I watched Haruhi, Susan Mia, I've watched Lucky Star. I started watching that in 2015 because I didn't know anything about it. I was going to watch shows and I was like, what is this show? And it's just a slice of life anime. It's the girls on the show say the most randomest things. Talk about the most random things they've ever seen. And they're all older than they think they are. All up at the end of the series, they're 18 years old. You wouldn't think that by just by looking at them. But I watched some anime that had some of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Like a like a nine year old girl with big big boobs. Some anime have a lot of problems like that. Disproportionate body body type because no nine year old should have a G cup and no no nine year old has G cups in real life I guess they can get away with it in anime because why not just throw the, throw the laws of physics out because there's practically impossible for a nine year old girl to have G cup breasts I watched this Elf and S Elf and show was Elf and Lied. I mean, no, no, that that's, that's sorry, that's not the right show. Iken. Iken, it's an anime called Iken. Sorry. Elf and Lied is a whoa. I won't even let my stepkids watch that show. Cause that show is oh god. Yeah. If anybody's watched that show, they can probably relate. So yeah. I wouldn't let a kid watch that. I wouldn't let a 14-year-old watch that. 
all the, all the crazy stuff that goes on in that show. Good God. Hmm. <sighs> yep. They had all kinds of shows. Code Geass. It was pretty good. I didn't like the premise of it. But it was still a good show nonetheless. I watch the weirdest things too. I watch all kinds of things. I watch all kinds of shows. You know. You got new Transformers series shows came out in 2010. One of the best was Transformers Prime. And that was a good show. It lasted for three seasons. It was a pretty good show. I liked it. I liked their, their take on it. A lot darker. Megatron and Megatron was dark. At the end of the series, he became a good guy. He saw the error of his ways. Yeah. Then they got stupider with him. And they started going back to the old way animating it. Stupid look. You know, so doggone stupid. Why did you go... Go ten years back? You could have had the head... head to, you had a good thing going, and all of a sudden they went 10 years back. Well, I don't I don't get that. <sighs> they have all kinds of anime. They have all kinds of shonen, Jenny, and out of a lot of them. They have Magic Girl, Magical Girl anime, Car Capture Sakura. Tokyo Mew Mew. Yeah, don't ask. I accidentally watched it and it's... I got the song stuck in my head. I was meowing at work at, when I was working at Walmart. Everybody looked at me like that damn crazy. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. But they got some... Like I tell two people, anime is not for... Some anime is not for kids. Some of them may be wholesome... Me watch and laugh. Some of it's serious and oh, good God. Tokyo Ghoul's one of them. It's so bad. Kid watched it, and the teacher, next day he went to school, the teacher asked, What's a thousand minus uh, seven? And the kid lost his mind. He went insane. He went crape shit. The only way to describe it is ape shit crazy. Good God. How would you want to do that? The Indian again? And they wonder why. I wonder why people always say it's the shows you watch. Shows you watch. And the video games you play makes you violent. That's not true. It's how you was raised. And how you perceive everybody. Watching TV... Play video games make don't make you nobody. I play video games on my downtime, but I don't play violent video games anyway because I really don't like them too much because it's stupid. Play all them games. <sighs> what what killed MMO RPG games is douchebags played Halo. People who played Halo. Are douchebags. That's what they call them. Because every time you try to play Halo, there's always an idiot trying to kill you and do teabagging. It didn't come popularized until after Halo games. Until every idiot started shooting people in the game and doing teabag. Teabagging their dead bodies. On the game. And everybody calls them douchebags and plays Halo at her douchebags. But then again, I don't know why the people call them that. Of course, say Halo. You hey play you play Halo? Man, ain't, ain't you ain't you a ain't you a douche for that playing that crap? And treat your treat your people like that. Being a poor sport and everything else. People, people, people take them games way too damn seriously. That's why I don't play multiplayer games online. P 
People take it way too serious. It's just a game, people. It's just a game. Behave yourselves. Those games whew, are not some games I want to play because really, I really play it solo and without anybody online to play it with me. Because I really wouldn't want to play it. I really don't want to do that. I had somebody, I was playing the, oh, what game I was playing not so long ago, and this person messaged me, said he wanted to play, he, she, he wanted to play. I said, sorry, I only play solo, sorry. And I just blocked him off of it, because really, I don't play online multiplayer games. Because people are, say you... Oh. Oh. Ugh, sorry. Yeah, you know, say you um, you know, say you play a game with me, and you lose, and you throw a fit. I've seen somebody do this. They throw a fit, take their Xbox One outside, put gas on it, and light it. That's how bad you have to be to be a sore loser because you lost the game at Halo. Now, he taking for granted he was talking shit about the other player. And the player just said, you know what? F this, F you. And shot him dead and touched the character dead on the screen and then proceeded to teabag him. Then the guy got so freaking pissed off, and he decided to just run outside with the Xbox One, pour gasoline on it, and light it up and destroy it. Yeah. Anchor management issues, man. It's just a game. <sighs> I hate when people think these games are real and they have real consequences to you. It's just a game. I want to go back to the good old days. Where we just didn't even give a crap. Oh well. That's all for this video. I'll see y'all later.